Hey YouTube and welcome back to my channel and welcome to the fourth day of 33 days of holiday and today we're going to be making rudimentary rose water and why are we making rudimentary rose water because during the winter season or mainly December when Yule or Christmas happens which is tend to remember or honor the coming of the new season or the warm season as you might call it and what's good during the warm and cool season is roses now roses grow during the summer and i'm filming this right at the end of summer and so here we go so what we're going to need are roses. Now I got these out of the front yard, um, but I have two of these bigger roses. Uh, I froze some of these the other day because I wasn't sure if I was going to have roses or not to film this. Um, but I have two of these bigger roses because you're going to want to need a lot of roses for it to have a good concentration and then I have some of these little roses because the big roses might not be enough so I have two of these little ones to equal another big rose um, and we're also going to need a pot and two cups of water. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our roses and we're just gonna remove the petals and place them into the bottom of your pot. Now there is a way to get a better concentration of rose water without the red coloring, which requires a pot uh, two cups of water, rose petals, uh, but you're going to need a bowl to place inside of your pot, and then you're going to want a lid that you can flip over to sit on top of your pot, and then ice cubes to put in the lid to get condensation going for uh, the rose water that is purified of red coloring. But today we're just going to focus on rudimentary rose water. Rose water you can make on the go when you don't have too much time but might want some you know soft skin or if you got itches or acne and stuff like that now pe I've seen people just use the rose petals but I'm gonna go ahead and put in I guess these would be the rose hips. That out along the bottom. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your two cups of water. And you may not use all of this water because you're just going to fill your pot just above where the rose petals end. And then if you want to add a little more then you can. Um, 
I think I'm going to add a little more. The only downside to adding more water is that it will thin out the concentration of the actual rose water. I like to go maybe just under halfway of the pot with water, no matter how many rose petals are in there. Like if there were more rose petals, I'd probably put more, but about almost halfway is pretty good if you just got the very bottom covered. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to set your heat on medium high. So I'm putting this on like a five and then you're going to want to cover this because you want to keep any oil that the roses are giving off in the pot. And then you're going to bring this to a boil and then right as it starts to boil you want to turn your heat off. So we're about halfway to uh, to getting to a boil and I like to go in and stir very gently and just make sure that everything in the pot is getting soaked evenly because some rose petals will be at the top and won't soak as good as the rose petals at the bottom. So I probably just do that once just to keep from opening the top every now and then, trying to keep as much of the oil from the roses in the pot as we can. So we've been boiling maybe 45 seconds. So now we're just going to go ahead and turn off the heat, remove the rose petals from said heat, and we're just going to give it a second to settle, keep as much of the oils in there as possible. You can see here, I'm going to try to get that in camera, um, that the pink petals that we used looked look almost white, and then even the red look like they are translucent or almost have no color. So what we're going to do is we're just going to give it a stir one more time. Make sure the juices get out there. Alright, so what I've heard is that you want to take your rose water and jar it up pretty fast and then put it in the fridge for it to cool down as fast as you can to really make sure that the oil holds. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a sieve, and I have a jar here. I'm going to put this sieve right there, and then what we're going to do is we're going to pour our rose water through the sieve into our jar. Okay, like so. And then we're just going to want to push into those rose petals and make sure that we're using as much of the roses as we can so that we aren't wasting. Put a little more rose water in here. Down. 
And then what I would normally do is I'd put a very tiny bit of vodka in here to help keep it fresh uh, for a little longer. Um, but I, we seem to have run out of vodka, so I'm just going to go ahead and cap this. And then what you would do is you would go ahead and put it in the fridge. And then you would have rudimentary rose water, which is good for your skin, for calming out, for all kinds of stuff. It's an antiseptic. Um, it's also good for healing wounds and things of the such. But yeah, um, what I'm going to do with the rest of the rose water is I'm going to put it into one of these bottles, but since it's too hot, it'll melt these bottles and I don't have time to go into Walmart to buy me some spray bottles. Okay, so that's it for today's video. If you like this video, then hit the like button. If you have any suggestions for future videos, then leave them down in the comments. And if you haven't already, subscribe. Alright, bye guys. Yeah, he's